good evening friends now today i am going to show you analytic account setup in odoo so here in odoo 16 uh, we have got changed in how analytic account works basically previously we have analytic accounts and you know analytic defaults now it has been replaced with analytic plans account and distribution models so first we have to define analytic plans so i have defined analytic plans specifically for different business units so for current business which i am showing you has two different units one is grocery sales like grocery business unit and uh, second one is stationary business unit and here i have set up the domain like how this will made applicable so i have set up like in any sales order where stationary product category is there it should made assigned and here this is my analytic account i have defined for under stationary brand the same way i have defined grocery business unit and then grocery analytic account and here i have defined distribution model so whenever i want to see grocery sales as an analytic account under product category i have map it with grocery and then under stationary sales i have set up stationary product category so it will auto assign <coughs> and here i have defined generic expenses as a third plan okay here i didn't define any domain in analytic account i have defined two analytic account to measure like grocery bu expense and stationary bu expense okay and then how it will applicable is made here like for any expenses i made it should divide 50 percent to each business unit because both the business i am doing from the same premises so i want to divide all the general expenses between both the units so let's say now i am going and uh, making some sales so before that i would like to show you the accounting part where i can run profit and loss and you can see simply the overall sales right over here in product category configuration i have defined grocery in the same local sales purchase expense with other account and stationary also local sales and purchase expense so account will remain same and then i will make my you know sales so <clears throat> whatever goes under product sales everything uh, will come under one account but now if i want to segregate segregate what will be my grocery sales only then i will apply my analytic filter and then i will be able to see only sales done for stationary or sales. so now if i go in any report you know and if i want to run my report for only this then we can see grocery sales like if i have selected grocery sales it will show only for grocery sales and here for stationary sales right so this is how it will show me entire and only for expenses if i want to see expense i can see over here so now let's see basically people want to you know business want to make and see the overall <coughs> things they have done with multiple units together so i am selecting either plan you can see the information over here and if i select the accounts you can see the same information one plan may have multiple accounts but now for this example i have set different plans so you can see the figures over here right now if i am making any sales to any customer and I am selling product one so it is automatically taking stationary sales as an analytic account and I am selling let's say 10 units and from grocery also 
I am planning to sell but grocery doesn't have that product but yeah it has a product and I am planning to sell five unit from my grocery so you can see analytic account has automatically see selected over here I confirm it I go and make the delivery and then I create the invoice so as soon as I create the invoice then it will divide my you know sales account with analytic accounts and here if i refresh we will see the balances over here now if i select only grocery bu and stationary bu expenses you can see the larger level expense now i am going and making one <coughs> vendor bill directly let's say I want to register a vendor bill like electricity vendor. Okay. And I say electricity bill, which is my product. I'm making service type. So here by default you can see analytic account has automatically captured this stationary view and grocery view 50% division so you can see it over here also right and then if i make like uh, my electricity bill was uh, 2000 rupees and then i confirm so i need to give a bill date and I confirm and then I come here and I refresh this so you can see the purchase expense has been divided from 500 to this if I disable this it will show me overall purchase expenses right so this is my purchase expense electricity vendor for 2000 over here and as soon as i enable my filter if i want to see only for stationary bu and then we go back to my pnl i can see the division for stationary unit only so if i want to say expense it is here and if i want to say grocery it will also divide equally right and then if i want to measure the income i am enabling this account so it will divide and show me total income and total expenses how i can make it over here using analytic account so with this example now i think many consultant and many end user or business user can set up their analytic accounts within same business to measure different business income and divide their expenses with uh, this analytic distribution that percentage can be different i have made it 50 50 so it is showing like this hope uh, this small example can help to uh, you know use analytic account very effective impactful in their business thank you